In this video, I will show you how to create new users in ongoing WMS. So if you're logged in as an administrator, you go to administration and then users. And this is the page where I'm currently at. I have one user here and we're going to create a user with the warehouse working access, warehouse user access, and then also a customer login user that is free of charge. Uh, on the, in this information, you can see how many users uh, are currently charged by ongoing. Uh, these ones are charged, uh, the base amount, and these supplier and reseller are significantly cheaper, just a fraction of the cost. But to create a new one, we are going to click this button, and I'm going to call mine Warehouse Worker. And then I'm going to generate the password, which I will copy. Uh, if I want to uh, automatically send an email with login credentials, I type in the email of the user here, and in my case, I won't. And here are different permission levels that you can use. And then here you can choose the default goods owner that you're going to use. And if you're going to give the user access to all of the goods owners or only part of those. If you want to allow only for the user to log in for a certain IP or a range of IP, you can uh, edit that here. And if you don't want to give access to all the warehouse, you uncheck this and choose the warehouses that you want to give access to. But we only have one and so I check this. And click create. And uh, I get uh, information saying here that it will be charged for, which is OK. So I understand. And then I can simply log out and I type in warehouse worker. And then paste the password and now I'm logged in. And then uh, now you might immediately see that the administration menu is not uh, no longer here. And the first thing that you're met is uh, with is an uh, lobby for the warehouse worker, which we won't go into today. But you can uh, you can uh, start processing orders either manually in the admin interface or through the scanning here. And uh, as yeah, we don't have uh, the administration interface, so I cannot uh, or the administration menu, so I cannot uh, go there and create the new user. Instead, I have to log out and log in with my admin user. Like that, and I go back to the administration user page. And now I'm going to create a new user for the free of charge customer login. And I'm going to call it customer and then generate, copy that password. And I don't want to put in an email. And then here, customer. And then I'm going to choose the first one, customer extended. With the import and now here probably uh, if you have customers to your warehouse uh, you only want to give access to one goods owner and let's do the english ecom clothing here click create and uh, also if you want to give access limited access to colleagues and such you can also use the customer login as it is free of charge but mainly we're thinking of it as uh, that's uh, used for the three PLs that want to give access to their uh, customers. So now we log out and we put in customer and then password, log in. And here we are met with a slightly different lobby intended for the customers to the warehouse. This is the starting page of the custom login. We still see the order list, uh, but it's uh, we cannot do anything. We cannot process any orders or anything like that. But uh, I mean, we see the order list, the purchase order list. I think we see the articles that we have and so on for this limited view. Uh, but that's good to know how to create one. And finally, I'm just going to show you how you can edit and delete a, um, a user that you have created. So I log into my admin account once again, go to administration users. And 
let's say I want to edit the access or let's say in this case I will delete the customer is no longer a customer of my warehouse and I simply click edit here and then delete. I can also here change permission levels and so on but I'm simply going to delete it like that and now this uh, user no longer has access to the system. That's it for this video. Thank you very much.